Welcome to the weekly market updates by SoftLogic Stockbrokers. Colombo Bourse concluded the four-day trading week remaining in the green territory by a marginal gain of the All Share Price Index by 33.1 points to close at 13,371.6, and the S&P SL20 Index gain by 39.6 points to close the week at 4,604.9. Holiday short and trading week's broader market total turnover for the week stood over 24.7 billion rupees against a 12-month average daily turnover of rupees 4,941.3 million, while the total volume traded for the week was 873 million shares. Capital goods, insurance, food and beverage, and diversified financials mostly contributed to week's turnover. The Central Bank of Sri Lanka, at its meeting held on 19th January 2022, decided to adopt several policy measures with a view to strengthening macroeconomic stability, increase policy rates by 50 basis points, distribute the financing of essential import bills for full purchases among the licensed bank in proportion to their foreign exchange inflows, mandate all registered tourist establishments to accept foreign exchange only in respect of services rendered to foreigners, extended the incentive scheme on inward workers' remittances until 30th April 2022, estimates economy to grow by 4% in 2021, forecasts 5% growth this year. Central Bank Governor said that Sri Lanka has transferred the required funds to pay 500 million US dollar sovereign bond falling due on January 18. Further, CBSL said the manufacturing PMI indicates that manufacturing activities sustain the expansion of a month-on-month -month basis in December 2021, recording an index value of 58.1 mainly due to the expansion in new orders and production. Sri Lanka's imports are estimated to have soared to 2.2 billion US dollars in December 2021 amid sterilized forex sales to maintain a policy rate of 6.0% as inflation urged 12.1%. Workers' remittances in 2021 fall to 10-year low. In December, the inflows were only $325.2 million, lower by nearly 80% as against $813 million received a year ago. It is higher compared to $271 million in November and $317 million in October. Colombo Port City Economic Commission forges ahead, releases six plots out of 31 on a 99-year lease basis generating $200 million in sales revenue with a collective investment commitment of $600 million. Establishment of Colombo International Financial Center in February and associated exchanges will soon stimulate flow of foreign currency through the port city. Construction work has begun on the region's first downtown duty-free mall for operation by two world's leading operators. These are the crossings for the week. Company news and highlights. Access Group has been selected by the government for a build, operate and transit deal for a logistic facility in Ekala Jaila. Nestle Lanka operates a 45 million US dollars intergroup loan to secure this year's Forex requirements. JKH completes 50 million dollars worth phase of 80 million dollar private placement with ADB. Fitch ratings upgrade Harry Jaiwagana's continental insurance to A+. Continental Insurance Lanka Limited, a fully owned subsidiary of Melstaco PLC Distilleries Company of Sri Lanka PLC, owned by leading business magnate Harry Jawadana, has achieved national insurer financial strength. Moving on to the technicals, the all share price index closed up marginally higher as prices continue to consolidate over the past two weeks. As the index closed at 13,371 points, we will now focus our chart on the daily time frame for a more closer view of the overall price action. As of now, you can see that the index continues to find support around the 10 and 20 day simple moving averages. In terms of a stronger support level, we have a confluential level at around 13,280 points, which is now the key level for the buyers to hold over the near short term. Overall. Considering the short-term, medium-term and long-term time frames, they continue to favour the buyers and thus favours further upside potential.